Amahika Jasuria, Senior Software Engineer at WSO2. In this screencast, we will take a look at how we can use WSO2 ESP to publish a message to WSO2 MB using a JMS publisher service. To get started, I have WSO2 MB and WSO2 ESP here. Since I'm going to start both these servers in my local machine, I have already set a port offset of 1 to WSO2 MB. Now let's start WSO2 MB. You can access the management console of the WSO2MB using this URL. Now let's create a queue on the message broker. I'm setting the consume and publish permissions to everyone for this queue. You can see details of the queue that we just created. The message count is zero. If you click on browse, it will show the message details if there were any. There's also a publish messages option here. We can specify the message and directly publish to the queue within the management console itself. However, in this screencast, we are going to use ESP to publish messages to the queue instead of this method. Now let's start configuring ESP. First, we need to enable JMS Sender on WC2 ESP. To do that, go to WC2 ESP repository conf access to access to.xml. This configuration file contains the transport receivers and transport senders. If you go to the transport senders section, you will see that JMS transport is already available but is commented out. So in order to enable, we just need to uncomment this. Next, we need to configure the jndi.properties file. As you can see, this is pointing to 5672 for the queue connection factory by default. We need to change this to 5673 since we started the message broker with port offset of 1. I'm also going to add the queue that I just created here. In order to the communication between WSO2 MB and WSO2 ESP to happen, there are some client libraries that we need to copy to WSO2 ESP. To get these client libraries, go to WSO2 MB, Client Lib folder. We need to copy Andes, Geronimo JMS, and Secure Vault JAR files. To WSO2 ESP, Repository, Components, lib directory. Now we are all set to start the WS2 ESP server. You can log in to the management console of WSO2 ESP using this URL. Now let's create a proxy service to publish the messages to the message broker. I'm going to select the custom proxy option.
I have already created the proxy service. So as you can see in this configuration, we have a send mediator pointing to the queue endpoint as JMS, the queue name that we just created, and points to the JMS connection factory that we also configured right now, and Java naming factory, and the Java naming provider URL, which is the configuration file that we just created and the JMS destination type as Q. Since we are not expecting any response when we publish the messages to the message broker, we have set the out only property to true. However, when we invoke the service, we need to expect a 202 accepted response. That is why we have set the force SE accepted property to true. If you click on the proxy service, you are able to see the endpoints. There are two endpoints, HTTPS and HTTP. You are going to use the HTTP endpoint here. I am using Postman to invoke the service. I am sending a post request with a body. This is a sample stock code order element which I'm going to set as the message. As you can see when I invoke the service I'm getting a 202 accepted status. This means that the message was successfully published to the message broker. Now let's check the message broker. As you can see, there's one message in the queue now. If you browse to it, this will show the message ID, the timestamp, and some properties of the message. For example, the content type and the origin, and also the message itself. This is the message that we just published through the service. So this is how you use ESP to publish a message to the message broker using a JMS publisher. Thank you.